welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced live stream. Uh, I think this is stream 202. Yeah, it uh, is. Mm -hmm. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian at Lift Cheerful on the Make Code Forum. Awesome. So today I was thinking that we would try and make a card game which I don't know if I've seen a card game in MakeCode Arcade yet. Um, if you have, please mention it in the chat. Um, I'd love to to compare. Uh, have we ever done one on live stream? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. I don't. I feel like card game is something that I wanted to do, but we never like did it. So I'm yeah. glad we're you know breaking ground on the card game front. Yes. Indeed. Um, so some of the inspiration that I had came from uh, a friend of mine was playing Slay the Spire last night. A uh, very fun game. Um, and there's also like, you know, uh, like uh, Magic, The Gathering or um, many other like card games, you know, where you you battle or something. Um and I think it would be a lot to do a full game in one stream. So what I'm hoping to aim for today is just sort of like if I could get some cards on the screen, maybe a hand, maybe you can select things in your hand and play things. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So we're going to kind of aim for that. Um, so I'm going to make a little to-do list. So for creating cards, I mean, one thing we need is a way to like render a card. So like, you know, give it some stats and then draw it somehow. Um, and uh, maybe even before that, we need to be able to define cards, define a card. Um, and then I think it, once you could render a card, it'd be cool to render a hand um, and then traverse a hand. So like usually as you traverse through, it'll like pop, pop the card up a little bit so you can read it fully. Um, since we don't have a lot of space on the screen, we'll have to probably have quite a bit of overlapping of cards, especially as, as your hand gets bigger. Um, and then, you know, playing a card would be cool. Um, so I'm going to make all these little to-do items, um, and we'll see how far we get. Uh, I think what might make sense is after this stream, depending on how things go, um, might turn this into an extension that we can use in subsequent uh, streams or, you know, on the um, wherever to make card games. Uh, okay, so defining a card. So what what's in a card? Um, I think, well, what do you guys think of when you think of a card? What, what's it got? Mm. Well, okay, so are you thinking of like playing, playing cards or like, you know, cool cards? Um, let's think in the realm of like, um, you, not, not standard Save like four suit yeah. 52 card deck but something more like you know magic the gathering or something mm -hmm. um, okay. so art. you need yes art, art name and then yeah description because it has to have some kind of effects probably yeah yeah i think um commonly you'll see i wish i could just kind of sketch for you uh somehow but like a a kind of title or name at the top and then like a nice chunk of art there um, sort of uh, below that and then um, and then like a description of what the card does there's often like a little bar of like stats above and below um, the description that you can like like energy cost or something something of that form or damage or strength or you know whatever else um, so I'm trying to think how to do this generally enough. I think maybe I'll start with title, art, description, and we can get fancier later by having common stats be somewhere. Um, all right, so let's see. So to define a card, um, uh, maybe using those data objects things, um, Ooh. I wonder if that would be a good case for um, for cards. Uh, it seems like it. It's, it's very nice to be able to get at least some kind of uh, typing yeah. for it with just having yeah. the kinds, active right. property things instead of just having string like 
image all over the place or something like that. Do you guys remember if data data objects um, has uh, is it data objects? It's arcade dash block dot objects. No need for Rhino. Okay. Block dash objects. No need for Rhino. It's in Microsoft apparently. I'm, I'm oh. using oh, well, then you Arduinos. Need Microsoft. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not approved yet. We have to um, new extensions that we make. We kind of review them and make sure they're at some good state before we put them into the default listing. And so before that's the um, before they've been uh, whitelisted like that, you have to. Um, uh, search search for them like this. Okay, so I'm adding an extension, Arcade Blocks Objects, which um, Richard made, and it does a lot of very useful um, things. Uh, so it's very useful if you want to store a bunch of data in you know on a thing, like uh, like maybe you would do with sprite data, except that it's not always a sprite. Um, so yeah, that can be useful. Um, so actually, I'm thinking now block objects versus sprite data. So block objects are nice because you get these types. Um, but sprite data, like the card eventually as we render it, will just probably be a sprite. Um, so we could store everything on the sprite itself. I guess it uh, depends on how you're thinking of it. When you were talking about it before, I was imagining like a hand view where they're smaller and then you zoom in to a, like a full view so you can actually read the cards or something if that yeah. makes sense that's yeah. a fairly common when you don't have that much room in which yeah. case you wouldn't necessarily yeah. want it to be a sprite because you might just want to render it on the screen yeah. instead of yeah like, just like using the draw it on the screen directly right right also if you want to do like multiple like properties later i think block objects can do arrays whereas mm -hmm. bright data can't do arrays so that might be That's nice true. too. That's true. All right, let's uh, let's start off with um, doing a block object and see how this goes. So I'm going to call this my first card, and so I'm going to create a variable and um, assign a block object to that, an empty, a new empty block object, and um, that just means that my first card um, is going to be where we can store stuff. So normally a variable stores one thing, like a number. Uh, string, boolean, image. Um, in this case, a block object lets you store many things um, and onto sort of one variable. So let's start with the title. So I'm going to just say um, for my block object, which is this guy, set, oh, wait, no, I don't need a string array. String, I just want to set um, my first card set string um, and I'm going to call this the title. So the nice thing about block objects is we can name kind of the properties here. And the title will be, um, g give me, give me a title for our first card. Oh, um, Erasmus. Uh, all right. You're gonna have to spell that for me. <laughs> uh, E R A. Uh, S T H, S T H, M U S. Okay. This is why Joey's in the newspaper business. Can spell things, even <laughs> difficult things. Indeed, indeed. Um, all right. So great. We've stored a title. Now let's store an image. This will be sort of the, um, the art of the card. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this to you, Joey, to create a card image, and so I think we're probably gonna want a just the large version, and then maybe we'll just use an extension to auto scale it down um, for the small version. That seems reasonable to me. Um, so let's say the large version is forty eight. Yeah, maybe 48 by 48. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to just, just to kind of see how big 48 by 48 is, I'm going to create a sprite that is 48 by 48. Uh, I guess it could be, we could do wider than tall too, depending on mm -hmm. one extra description room. So like 48 by, uh, 
30. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it slightly, slightly smaller. So um, good thinking, Joey. I think this is more standard for cards too, a slightly landscape. Cool. All right, 48 by 32. Uh, your image of Erasmus, you know, whatever that is, Corgi or otherwise. <laughs> um, I mean, you just ruined the surprise. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't know what was going to um, All right, so I'm going to add a description field as well. So let's, um, so we've got a title, we've got art, and now I'm going to do description. Um, Are we okay. going to, I guess this will just be a full image, so I should do a background too, right? I don't, we don't have to worry uh, about keeping the, uh, yeah, the you, yeah, you can do any background you want. It could also be transparent and then it'll just be the card color background. Um, so as placeholder art, I'm going to, you know, put something here. Um, probably just be a big creepy smiley face because it's hard for me to draw non creepy smiley faces. <laughs> um, all right. So we've got that. And now I need a description. Um, Vivian, what's oh. the description? for this card is and you very don't, it's joey's hmm? drawing is very large likes orange but not the fruit good i will factor that into my drawing cool <laughs> excellent but not the fruit excellent all right so we've got our description now I want to draw this card um, in large form. So I'm going to create a function that is going to be, how should this work? So I could make a function that returns an image. I could make a function that returns a sprite. Um, I... You could, if you just want to draw. I could draw to a sprite's image. You pass an image, right? Yeah, drawing to an image is probably the easiest if you give it like an image and an offset maybe mm -hmm. uh so for top left and right uh yeah. and then you can later on use the arcade sprite util extension because i have a like renderable thing and then you can have it render on screen and then just mm -hmm. draw it inside of a box altogether mm -hmm. yeah okay so i'm gonna call this um render card so i'm deliberately calling this like render card as opposed to draw card because in this case draw is ambiguous um so <laughs> yeah so uh ooh, one tricky thing is i can't take in as a parameter a um data object because we don't we, we only support these parameters um you could attach it to the spray yeah we could we could probably do... yeah we could of the of an image We'll probably keep an array of it, uh, cards in the end anyway, so we can just do an index into that array. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to want an array of, like, all cards. And then, okay. Okay, we're doing this. So card index um, is going to be a number that is going to be, you know, in our definition of cards, uh, Which which card is it? Uh, and that'll maybe also be our card identifier that we use internally, kind of wherever. Um, actually, yeah, maybe I'll just call this card ID. And we're going to draw this to um, um, to some image that will be passed. Okay, so we're going to draw a card. So um, I have to implement that. So let's see. So to call this... Um, we're going to draw the first card, which will be index zero. So I got to do that. And the image that we're going to draw to is going to be, so hmm, I'm going to make a sprite that is, you know, the card renderer or, you know, instance of a card. And I'm going to draw to that image, um, sprite, um, that. I think that will work. So that will correctly, if we modify the image that we get in here, that'll update the sprites image, right? Um, yes. Okay. 
I think we will need to reassign it to the sprite if we want bounds to be recomputed and stuff like that, though. Uh, we fixed that, actually. Or oh, we fixed that. that. Excellent. Okay, that used to be... Uh, uh, but we're uh, not going to be... We're probably not going to be doing collisions with the sprite, though. Uh, yeah, probably not. Um, but maybe things like, you know, the center or something like that will matter. Okay, so sorry if this is a bit vague right now, everything we're doing. We're sort of doing a lot of setup, but I think it'll get more clear as we get farther into this. So I'm going to um, create my cards array. So these are going to be card definitions. Um, the, and um, I'm going to just store um, my cards as I define them straight into this um, array. So these aren't... This array doesn't represent someone's hand or anything. This is just all possible cards, um, one of each card, basically. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got our array of definitions, and we've got a sprite where we're going to render our card to, and then we're calling um, card render for the zeroth um, card, uh, which is going to be this my first card. Um, and we want to draw that here. Okay, so this is going to be... Um, so I can say... Uh, let's get that. So um, card um, def is going to be uh, get value at from the card definition list. Uh, at index um, zero. Um, and now this is a... Um, I think you renamed uh, it instead of making it Oh, clear. yes. You're right, I did. Um, card definitions. Let's do a new variable card def. Okay, so this is the array of all the cards, and this is the single cards that we're working with right now. Um, all right, <clears throat> so the simplest thing we can do, so we want to draw um, the whole card to this target image. Um, so do we have a way to draw an image instead of another image? That's, uh, that's the, one of the ones that's in the extension. Oh, okay. Talking What's the extension? Uh, jwonderl slash arcade dash sprite dash util. Um, okay. Here's another very helpful extension that hopefully in some form will be in our um, main set of extensions uh, before too long because there's a lot of great things in here. So one of them is um, draw um, blank to blank at location. So... Um, in this case, we want to draw from the card definition. We are going to grab the art image. And that is going to be, so from card def, get the art and draw that to our target. And for now, I'll draw that at 0, 0. Um, OK, so let's see how we're doing. Um, let's see. So what we've got is. Um, not much. And that's because this isn't resizing the image to match. So I think the first thing we want to do um, I guess every sprite that will render a card um, should already be sized correctly. So that, that just makes it simpler. So render full card. <clears throat> Um, so I think the full card width will be, so the image, the art image is going to be 32 tall, 48 wide. The card should probably be a bit wider than that. So let's say, um, some padding on either side, uh, 52 wide, maybe, um, by, and then it should be taller than that. Um, so let's say, I'm just going to say hundred for now. 
Um, but we'll see. So let's let's look at kind of how that aspect ratio looks. That looks a little too tall to be a card for me. Let's try 80. Mm, that looks reasonable-ish for a card. What do you guys think? That sort of aspect ratio. Yeah, it's okay. like a card. All right, so we're figuring out a lot of things as we're doing this. All right, so there is um, the start of a card. So uh, let's do some other things. So I'm going to set a background color to the card. Um, and I can do that with just fill. So we're going to fill the card um, with, mm, let's use this as our default background color, kind of very neutral. Kind of looks like cardboard or something anyway. Um, great. And now I think we're not going to render this at 0, 0. We're going to render this at 2 um, because um, the sprite image is um, 52 by 80. That means we have two extra pixels on either side. And then we're going to bump this down to make room for our title. Um, let's bump this down to 24. We'll figure out kind of how much to bump it down. Um, OK, the image, the, the art should probably always have a border around it, I think. So let's draw a rectangle for the border of um, the um, the art. So that's going to start at zero. It's going to have a full width of the card. It's going to have the full height of the card plus four. <laughs> sort of doing some math in my head. Um, hopefully I can explain what's going on. So 32, 36. Uh, X is at zero, and this will be two pixels above that. And the border, let's say, is uh, brown for now. Did I do that right? OK, I think that basically um, worked the way I expected. So we're, um, I think I'm going to make a, mm, I don't really want to make a ton of variables. Let's uh, Let's move this up and this up. Um, OK, so now we're drawing our art there, and we got some room for the title and the description. Um, let's keep going along. So if you have questions, is anyone monitoring the chat? Yeah, I'm keeping uh, an eye on it. OK. We have a lot. Everybody's very we, excited about card games, I think, you know, so excellent. lots of suggestions. <laughs> Great, great. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm excited to get to all the card suggestions. I'm, uh, I'll try and explain everything I'm doing as I'm going along, but it, I think this is going to be a bit abstract until uh, we see some more things happening. All right, so I want to draw the title. To do that, I'm going to use Arcade Text. Um, where is our good old friend Arcade Text? Uh, there it is. All right. So... Let's go to Arcade Text. We're going to create a text sprite. So it's going to be a little weird, but this will be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text sprite um, and then take the image out of it and throw away the sprite, I think, because I don't actually care about... Um, I don't actually care about having it as a sprite. I just want to render it to an image. Did we... I know we don't have a block by default, but I thought Peli added uh, or hadn't. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Like render text to image or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe text sprite could be reworked to be, you know, you could have all these same things, but drawing to an image. Um, but, you know, I think this is okay for now. So um, what are we going to have the text um, sprite say? We are going to uh, get, actually, I can't copy that one. I have to go here, and I'm going to say uh, get the from card def, get the title. And we we're going to draw that as, um, yeah, white, white's fine. Um, this is going to look a little ugly until I kind of figure out kind of what colors to do. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll do white for now. So we got this text sprite. Um, and then 
we want to take the image and draw that onto our uh, card image. So we're going to say draw the um, image from our text sprite um, called title sprite onto our target image. And we're going to draw this at um, probably one one. So um, yeah, I think something like one 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 or two two. Um, and let's see. So <laughs> the the title is a bit big. Um, but we really do want to be able to fit, you know, larger titles. So I think this whole card probably should be a bit bigger. Um, that's fine. So how much bigger? So let's 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 go here and mess with the aspect ratio. So let's say this is going to be maybe 64 um, by um, a little bigger than that. How does 90 look? Um, that looks like a reasonable card. Um, so that means this will be um, the rectangle will be 64 and um, the art will be did I, did I save that? Yeah, 64 by 90. Um, the art is still going to be 48 wide. So, um, uh, trying to do the math. Oh, Wait, what math are we doing now? Uh, 60. 68 eight? on either side. Yeah. I think that will do the right thing. So let's, let's see. So this is 48 by 32. And let's put it. I back. pasted my, uh, my thing in if you want it. Oh, you got it. Okay, I, excellent. Um, all right, so now that we have the, right. with a bigger border. Excellent. Um, yes, this will work. Everyone gets to just see our faces, but you see those anyway. Yeah, but now you're big. Oh. Okay. Um, and let's paste that in here. So we don't want that we want ah oh, that's such a good corgi card wow i'm excited it's got uh, a plant too i don't know why it has a plant but i like the plant <laughs> that's awesome um okay so we've got a title we've got that card so something uh, that's happening right now is so after we have drawn the image from the title sprite we actually don't need the title sprite anymore this is a little weird, but works. We are going to destroy the title sprite. So now you will only see, um, you know, the remnants of it up there. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on getting, like, the description and stuff. It looks ugly. And, you know, if you guys can think of ways to make this look less ugly. Uh, actually, let, let's talk about dark a little... purple or something for the... Uh, for the text would be helpful yeah yeah dark all, purple yeah. this isn't Contest very is too low. yeah so let's um i mean we could also you know make the card dark is another idea actually i think that looks yeah. that looks kind of nice i think border of brown is not very nice we could pick um light the art purple. border could be yeah sort of this lightish purple um and should the Border be fill rectangle instead of draw rectangle so that it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it, uh, it looks fine out it is too. Yes, I think we should. I think actually maybe what it should be before it's. I think we maybe want to border on the whole card. Um, <laughs> I think that might make sense. What did I say the height of the card was? I need to okay. track these. <laughs> okay, so. Um, that looks good. Yeah, I think that's already looking a bit better. So the title text, I actually want to be centered. Um, so, for example, if this wasn't 
uh, if this was shorter, um, mm -hmm. you would see that it's sort of left aligned. I think that's not typically how that works, right? This is probably more center aligned. Uh, uh, so this shouldn't be too bad. Just gonna be a little bit of math. Give me a second here to think about this. So the X, we are going to want this to be at two plus um, the, hmm. I think the two is gonna make it more tedious than it needs to be. Just cause yeah. you're, you don't really care. You don't need the border anyway, if it's yeah, yeah. You don't so it's just gonna be the, uh, it's a uh, difference between half of the card width and half of the, uh, let's so, so, uh, uh, here, let's say, so card, um, left pad, or uh, title left pad, title left pad. Um, this is funny. I'm making a left pad, uh, variable, which there was a famous incident, um, around left pad in the development world. Um, so left pad is going to be, um, the difference between the two divided by two. Um, yeah, so we're going to get the full card width, which is um, 64. And um, we're going to subtract the title sprite width. Sprite properties. Title sprite width. Um, so that is the difference in their width. And then we want to divide that by two. Um, let's divide that by two. Let's get Joey's face over here. And uh, okay, so now we know the left pad, and we are going to put left pad as the X. Did I center that right? Let's see. Woo! Now we can put the other characters back in. Um, it's a little, you can't tell too easily with this um, large of a uh, name, but it is important. Yeah. It, it, it feels like it's it rendering like the space in there. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. Excellent. We've got our card. Um, now let's get the description rendered. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, uh, but I might pick a different font size or something. Um, let's actually, let's get a little more padding there. Mm. The description is going to be fun if we're doing multi-line because we don't make a nice to support oh, that in blocks. We don't have any sort of line-breaking algorithm, do we? I mean, we don't have anything exposed in blocks. Ah. Uh, um, maybe that. Maybe we can leave that for, like, we can do other things and we can just do that as an extension off-screen real quick. Yeah, yeah, we could do that as a... So, do we so we line break where do we line break we line break in uh, um arcade story don't we mm -hmm. um does that render to any sort of image you can access from blocks no um does not, wait does not, text not, not, not really. no yeah it doesn't do any sort of word wrapping does it um so, um, so the places that we do rendering are also on the dialogues, but those are not accessible either directly. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we could do something cute with it. No, All right. Well, we found a nice little edge case of like, you know, something that we need definitely need an extension for. Um, so we are going to say that the description um, uh, needs to do, we need um, extension for word wrap. Um, all right. So otherwise, we got art going, um, and we got name. We don't have stats yet. We'll do that later. Um, and we right. We're defining a card. Actually, we're doing all those things. Rendering a card. Um, we are kind of there for our full size card. Um, we should do a half size card as well. And then we're going to need a way to place these, move these, have a hand, that kind of a thing. Um, okay, so for now, I think what I'm going to do re with regards to um, uh, the description is I'm going to you know render something there, and it's not going to look good yet. 
um, because we don't have word wrapping. But I can at least get some of the sort of placeholder um, stuff in place. So um, draw some text. The, yeah, I'm just, just gonna say make an image real quick. Yeah, so let's let's call this um, description sprite, um, and this is we're gonna grab the cards description as um, sure white on transparent, and we are going to um, in this case uh, draw that onto the image at uh, yeah let's say two and then um much lower down so the bottom of um the image i'm doing too much math i need to have constants around so um this is at 14 and the whole thing is of height uh 48 right so um that brings us to 62 I don't, I don't know. The height right. 36? Four. Mm. Uh, oh, oh. I'm, uh, what do we see? was the um, height? The height was 32 by 48 for the... Oh, yeah, so 48... For the image, so then... Um, 48 plus 14. So 48 plus 12 is 60. Plus 2 plus... Um, why is it so much lower... Uh, wait, what are we saying? Um, so if we want to just get, I mean, wait, what am I missing? Oh, it's 32, 32. 48 width. Ah, whoops. Okay. So I was, so 14 plus 32 is 46. Um, so let's try 48, um, so that we have a little bit of padding. Um, Wonderful. And now we can destroy that description sprite. So um, you're not going to be able to read the whole description because of the problem we mentioned earlier. Um, but we are we can do some things. So the other thing we probably want to do with the description is change the um, height. Eight, I think. Is it is it eight or twelve by default? I forget. Uh, five is the smaller one. Or the smaller one. Uh, <laughs> it really doesn't look that much smaller. Um, Wait, that... yeah, I guess that right. is the five. It, 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 I mean, it's only three pixels. Less yeah. Less direction, I guess. Right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> it is very. That's our description <laughs> for now. Uh, very something. Um, Maybe we should just have it draw, have it written out as like fake little scribbles, and then you click a button and it reads the text to you. <laughs> yeah, we 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 could do something like that. Um. I think it'd be nice if we could render the card directly. Um, hmm. We might need to enlarge everything yet again if we want like any any sort of complexity in our in our sprite uh, text. Maybe we take up the full screen and you have to hold your console sideways to read the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could just overflow. It's not actually... <laughs> I actually kind of like that. Yeah. Well, we, we could just kind of overflow the description or something. And, mm, well, we'll think about that. For now, uh, we have render full card, which is kind of cool. So now what I want to be able to do is, um, so we have render full card. Uh, I'm going to just move this buttons and confirm that this kind of works the way I expect. Yeah, we can move our card around as a sprite. Um, I want to render... Um, a small card. Uh, let's see if we can get that done. We got 20 minutes. Let's see how far we can get on our card thing. And I think this one is going to be kind of cool if everything works the way I kind of hope it does. Um, render um, small card. And again, we are going to take a card ID. And again, we are going to take a target image to render to. Um, thinking about it, Rendering an image to an image, I think we're always going to want to render to a sprite. Um, we might simplify everything by instead of rendering to an image, some image, we just return a sprite. 
because then we could define the whole bounds and stuff. I'll, I'll think about that later off screen. All right, right now I've got momentum, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Um, okay, so we are going to make another sprite. This is going to be the half size sprite uh, or small card. Um, uh, so this is my small card. Oops, I renamed both. Classic. Um, my large card. And then we're going to do this one as a new variable my small card and um small card will um be maybe just half honestly um let's let's try that um so we're going to try um half size so we'll do zero and we're going to render to my small card. Um, I think this stream has been a lot more technically difficult than most streams, um, but I think it will be kind of fun if we can get this working. All right. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm just thinking about this movement. Um, let's movement's fine, but let's move. Let's bump the. Um, a large card out of the way by default. Um, set um, set my large card left to zero, and we're going to set the small card right to um, the screen width, just so I can have these sort of side by side. Um, Okay, great. So we don't have anything rendering in our small card yet. So let's do that. Um, now, what I think we can do is, um, so does Sprite Utils have a way to resize? What words are resizing? It's a set? different extension. It's uh, okay. Arcade, or one second, let me pull it up because I forget the name always. I'm terrible at naming these. Uh, PXT Scaling, I think. G1 drill slash PXT Scaling. G1 Excellent. So this um, scaling extension does some things that we um, are, are very handy with images. We get this all the time, uh, requests like this all the time. Um, and you probably re-implement in C++ so it runs faster on hardware. Probably. That's an eventually thing. Yeah. It, the, scaling an image um, can really slow down your program if you're doing it too much. Uh, hopefully, in a card game, that won't be an issue, but you know, we'll see. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do here is uh, let's see, scale by 0.25. So um, I want to call um, render full size on I need a full size image. Um, so I'm going to create actually a full-size image. I, I really... Uh, I'll, I'll oh, okay. What's that? I thought you were just going to scale down the image and then do some scribbles or something. Uh, scale down the image itself rather than the whole card. We will. We can see how this goes. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> yeah, this, this might not work. Um, so the full card size... What, I, need a, I need to remember what the full card size is. 64 by 90. Um... Yeah, 64 by 90. Um, I think, it, yeah, I think I, maybe we'll have a template um, that everything can reference later or a helper to create a blank image. Um, actually, yeah, let's 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 make a helper real quick. Um, create blank card image, um, blank full card image. Um, and this is just going to do one very simple thing, which is return that. Um, and then we can call that here when we're creating that. And we can also call that um, here when we're creating the full card. Um, and I guess we need the analogous one, which is um, create blank small card image. And that is going to do um, the same thing, um, but 
V divided by two. Forty-five. Uh, yeah. So I can do math. Uh, Good job. I, so, yeah, sometimes on a stream it really feels like I can't do math. Um, all right, so create blank small card image um, in here. Um, okay, so the plan is for rendering a small card, we are first going to create a dummy full card image, render the full card to that, scale it down, throw away the old image, and um, draw the new image. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. So we are going to render um, the full image, and then we are going to draw that using Sprite Utils. Um, draw the um, half of the full image to our target at 0, zero. Theory. That should work. <laughs> Wow. All right, so you can see the uh, the scale down version <laughs> is just a blurry version of the big version. Um, so let me think how we can make this nice. So it might just be that. So as as this description fills out, and um, then you'll just see kind of scribbles, and the title will just be scribbles. Um, there's a couple of nice things we could do. If we make this border too wide, then I'm pretty sure you'll see at least a one wide border here. So that's one thing we can do. Um, we are mostly going to be, you know, you'll just have to go by sight on the image of the card that you want to work with. Um, so, you know, if you have a full hand and you're trying to like find your card, you're probably going to be pattern matching on, on the, um, the image which I think works okay. Uh, unfortunately, the Corgi lost his eye, but, you know, it's, uh, it's tough being a small card. All right, so let's thicken the border. Unfortunately, there's not a way to draw a rectangle larger, as far as I know. You just kind of have to do it twice. Um, I, yeah, I almost always do fill. Uh, well, you need to do one less width. As fill well. and then fill. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I fill outer and then fill inner, and it does the same thing, but that lets right. you do borders. Yeah. In this case, I'm just drawing, you know, one border at, with one and then another border at, with one slight, uh, one pixel in. And now you can see that um, our, um, our small card has a little border as well. I think that looks better. Um, the description is going to, let's see, it's sort of interfering, but you know, the description is kind of meaningless right now anyway, um, because we oh, don't have nice wrapping. Um, what was that, Joey? You could probably do something very small, which is just, uh, bring in each corner a little bit so we get rounded corners and it would look a lot more like Ooh, fancy cards. So yeah. we just need to do like transparency top and bottom, uh, corners and then mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. one more. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so um, in the target image, we are going to set transparency at... Um, so j are you just thinking taking off one pixel at each corner? Uh, taking off one pixel at each corner and then diagonally in... Uh, yeah. Do the color by one so that it's right in corner. Yeah, so um, zero, zero, um, zero... Whoa, what is the card height? The card height is 90. 90. Yeah, thank you, Andy. And um, why can't I? Yeah, 64 and then um, 64 and 0. How did that? How did that work? Oh. Uh, we might be, we're one, we have to do one less on each because it's mm. 0 to uh, 1 minus height, or height minus 1. Right. So 63. 9963 um all right nice yeah we munched munched off those little corners um you know i, I don't know if we need to fill in oh yeah we we should yeah it looks fine it's diagonals. either way yeah i think it'll be fun um just gonna 
copy paste um, this code. I could have done a Daryl and put it in an if statement, but I chose not to. Um, so the 001 is going to come in to. Is that right? Um, I think it I needs think to just be one in each direction, right? Or, um, or is that right? Oh, wait. Yes, there's double width. I'm, I'm, I forgot. It's um it's hard to keep straight. Um so that means all the zeros go to twos. The eighty nines go to eighty sevens. Oh man, I really should do this programmatically. Um oh well. They we should make fancy constant uh things. Yeah. Um Okay, how does uh, that look? Yeah. I, I think you know that does something. Um, the small card, you know, you don't see anything because of the scaling, but I think that's fine for now. Um, all right, so um, we can render a card. We can render a small card. It's honestly not that many blocks, but it is. It is a bit dense. It is a bit tough to um, kind of wrap your head around what's going on here. At least I think so. Um, if we have 10 minutes left, maybe we should just make two more cards. One yeah. for each of us. Oh. Let's do it. Um, yeah, do you each want to come up with a title, art, and description for another card? And I will get kind of the um, the infrastructure set up here to, to render all that. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. So I am going to say... Um, do, 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 do. We could make a function to define a card. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say define card is going to take in a title, it is going to take in art, and it is going to take in a description. Okay. Define card. Um, now, define card is going to do um, all of this. Oops. And let me put that back into on start. Um, and we are going to call define card um, with Erasmus, the Corgi, and this description. All right, then find card. And we are not going to, so card definitions needs to exist before we do this. And it's going to start as an empty array. And then inside of um, here, we are going to um, add blank to the end. We are going to insert into card definitions um, my first card. Now I'm going to rename this because it's no longer you know my first card. It's just some card that we're defining. Uh, I, I'm going to, mm, yeah, say, yeah, sure. So we're going to define a card, um, put in the title, art, and description that we're given, put that into our definitions, and we should return the index probably. Um, otherwise, how will we know? Mm. Well, We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. OK, so um, that lets us define things. Now I want to render, um, kind of, I'm going to render a hand um, So of all the cards. So um, I'm going to say that a hand is going to be a list of um, the indexes that we want to render. So it's going to render the zero, first, and second card. Um, so, or the, the first card, second card, third card, indexed, zero indexed, which means, you know, zero, one, two. Um, because we're going to have three cards. Um, so let me just placeholder define three cards. Um, okay, then we're going to now we have the hand. Um, we are going to loop over the hand. Eventually, I'll probably extract this into a function. Um, and um, 
I think I'm going to render them all small um, for now. And we'll separately just, you know, have one thing rendered large somewhere. So for every, whoops, um, every value, in this case, um, values are card IDs uh, in the hand, we are going to do all of the small card stuff. So we are going to, um, hmm. yeah, we're going to create the small card, but um, I kind of want to be able to lay them out. So I'm going to use a different loop. I'm going to use this loop, the for index loop. And the reason why is because I want this index as a number so that I can, um, um, what do I want it as a number? I want it as a number so that I can like offset their X's by a multiple of the index. Um, basically, I'm creating a render hand function right now, but I'm going to do this in line in the start. Okay, so let's grab the length of hand. Uh, I forget every time. So does four from index to, is that exclusive on the bound or inclusive? Inclusive and in blocks. Inclusive in blocks. Okay, so what that means is the valid indices are going to be the length of the hand minus one. And then the um, card index is, or the card ID rather, is going to be the um, get value at from and at it. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, I did that again. So hang on, let me rename this back. This is array index. And I want a new variable here, which is going to be card ID. And that is going to be um, from the hand uh, at that array index. Uh, we'll get a card ID. Wonderful. Now we're going to create a small card, which is going to be um, sprite of kind um, card. And we are going to uh, render that with, whoops, the card ID we grabbed here. And we're going to set the, let's set the, let's be based on the left um, to zero, um, array index times um, small card width plus something. So let's say, um, let's grab. Eventually, we'll divide it up across the whole screen because if you have more cards than can fit on the screen, we want them to overlap each other nicely. But for now, this will work. So um, my small card width. Um, plus um, some amount, like mm, four. Um, hopefully this will make sense as soon as we have those other cards. OK, so set left. Yeah, OK. And we are going to, OK, so I have the large card here, which I'll just move out of the way. And you can see that we've got our hand sort of rendering there. And I'm going to um, just shift them all over a little bit so they're not quite so smooshed. Um, so we are going to say all of that plus four. Um, OK, let's see how that looks. Nice. Look, look at our little hand of cards. Um, let me know when you guys have, do you have hearts and stuff ready? I think, I think they're in there, yeah. Although um, I do like this view right now. <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of corgis. Um, all right, so we got this card from Joey, number two. Oh, so good. Puffer fish, question mark? Yeah. yeah. Nice. And um, is this the title? Yeah. The all right. Uh, I, found, I looked it up, and I'm trying to find, like, what people name their blowfish or whatever that they have, because I think people do people in this. I don't know if that's allowed. Uh, but then I found that their name was Tetraodent. <sighs> Auto Odontide, which is a great name, oh. is a scientific name. So I went with that. Nice. 
This Mine's is awesome. Hat hoarder. Hat hoarder. Wonderful. Uh, what's the description for both of these? Oh, mine's like, hold on to your hat. Hat hoarder is coming. All right. Um, and Joey? Um, oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't do the, the, the description last time. Um, very spiky. I don't know. Um, what, what, what do blowfish do besides just be very spiky? I like very uh, spiky. Or no, we'll, we'll, we'll say very spiky for now. Um, look at that. We got a little hand. Oh uh, and none of them are rendered in large yet. Um, and we're out of time. So <laughs> we will pick this up maybe, uh, hopefully, at another time. Or maybe I'll just go off and make an extension and then show off the extension later. I, I don't know what makes more sense. Um, let us know if this stream was useful or if this was maybe too, um, you know, too t technical, I guess. It was a bit abstract. Um, and we'll we'll see you guys soon. Uh, I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Makehood Forum. I'm Joe at Jay Wonderl on the Makehood Forum. And I'm Vivian at Liftrifle on the Makehood Forum.